for the first band you played tonight. We're so excited to be out on tour with them. The band is called Torres. A huge round of applause for them. We, uh, we've done a lot of supporting and opening for other people, and I know that it's, uh, it's not always easy to get up in front of another band's audience, and so we really appreciate how kind you were tonight. Thank you very much. And please, if you didn't get here in time to see Torres, don't forget to look them up on Spotify or whatever music, finding, searching, listening devices you're using these days. We actually have Thanksgiving up in Canada already because it's a different time than America, and uh, we had Thanksgiving with a... How old are those kids? 18 and like 12, and they taught me about YouTube? <laughs> no, and I don't mean I didn't know that YouTube existed, but they basically were explaining to Sarah and I that they only no, used... I, I knew. <laughs> you knew this. Sarah was just, well, the, the part that I think we I both... spent a lot of the summer with a nine-year-old. Right, so okay. Already. So Sarah knew more about this, but it started off where they were just telling me about their favorite gaming YouTube people, like who put up... Seriously, I know this is going to make me seem ancient, but I swear, I don't, I didn't know, I don't play video games, so. But they were talking about their favorite, like, gamers who make, like, blogs about their game, they show you how to beat levels and things, so they drew me in with this. So I start having this conversation with these kids about this at dinner, and then we start talking about why they would watch this, like, why this is so interesting. In fact, one of them does not even play video games. <laughs> but she said she loves to go home and watch these people, and they knew all the names of them, I didn't, I would retain none of it, but um, <laughs> but we got talking about music, and they were saying they only use YouTube to listen to music, they don't listen to Spotify, in fact, when I said Spotify, their faces scrunched up like I was all of a sudden an elderly person in front of them, <laughs> I was like, oh, it's Spotify, they were just like, uh, we only listen to music on YouTube, and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, uh, tell me more, um, <laughs> So I proceeded to go home and type an email to my managers, but in giant font, like, because I can't see anymore, so I was all like, Apparently we should be doing more things on YouTube! And they basically wrote back, duh. Um, anyway, I don't even know why I was telling you about that, mainly because we're at, almost at the end of the show and I just wanted to have a moment with you. Don't worry, when it comes to the end of the show, you will feel like, you're like, yeah, that was long enough. She was right. <laughs> um, Sarah and I, uh, as I said earlier, we put out a new record, and it's called Love You to Death, and um, we, we spend a lot of time talking about if re records are even relevant anymore, and if you should even make them anymore, or if you should just... If, I mean, that's the thing, is that there's a small percentage of humans who, when I say that, are like, YES! <laughs> but then other times, I'll say things like, man, wouldn't it be cool if we just like, went home for a couple months and wrote some new songs and just put them out? And just every time we wrote a song, we just put them out on the internet. And then I'm like, would be Kanye? And then... Uh, <laughs> that seems like it's going really well. That seems like a model that really works, so... I never know what to say when we get to this part of the show, but we are going to play you some more songs off of our record, and um, I hope that doesn't make us seem ancient, but we're really proud of it. It's our eighth record, and uh, I'm to, you can listen to it on YouTube. I'm trying to imagine this as Tegan's uh, like presidential speech. Like she's like, yeah, I guess I'll try to do stuff for you in the future. My presidency might be okay. You might enjoy the next part of your life with us. How about this? We're about to play some fucking songs that are gonna fucking tear your faces off. They're so good. Everybody on this stage is gonna give you 100%. We're gonna dance. This, this body under these clothes right now, wow. this is tight under here right now. This is just six weeks of dancing, this part of the show, the dancing from this part of the show. I am like, I'm like, uh, I don't know a fit, really fit person. I'm a super, super. See, that's not a great marketing idea. You should get our eighth record, Love You To Death. It's a fitness record. I'm really right right yeah, for real, that's for real. I'm like, um, I'm like Michelle Rodriguez from, uh, from Fast and Furious over here. This is a full six pack. 
it's very tight, very tight. So get ready for that. Are you ready? You don't even no, you don't even seem that excited about how tight this body is. In here. Find myself, and some people are like, <laughs> it's like, it's tight. People are like, shh, I don't want to hear about your tight body. Come on, you guys. We're going to get fit together. Are you ready? Thank you. 